Hi everybody and welcome back to the Festival Foods Kitchen. I'm Lauren and this is Brittany. We're two of Festival's mealtime mentors and today we're excited to share a fun finger food recipe that's perfect for summer gatherings, um, barbecues, boating, camping, picnics, really you name it. Yeah, so today we're taking a traditional chicken enchilada recipe and packing it into a bite-sized cup. So let's get started. Yeah, so what we've done so far, um, we've preheated our oven to 350, mm -hmm. um, and we started putting some of the wonton wrappers, um, which is kind of what we're featuring as our little bowl today for yes. the enchilada cups, um, into a mini muffin pan. Um, so we didn't spray it because it's already nonstick, so all we have to do is just simply put in our wontons. Yes, and so we like the mini muffin tin because it's what makes these appetizers bite size. And we also really like working with these wonton wrappers. So you can find these right in our produce department and they're great for making appetizers. So we do have a great recipe on our blog for crab and cheese stuffed wonton cups. Today we're making chicken enchilada cups, but you could really use whatever filling you prefer. So whether it's a pizza themed filling or eggs for breakfast, um, really whatever finger food you enjoy. And this part's really fun for the kids too because these wonton wrappers have kind of a fun texture. Yes, they do. So we're just putting these in to make sure the edges don't fold over on themselves. So from here, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Um, it, they're gonna bake for about five to seven minutes, mm -hmm. just enough so they crisp up. Yes, so while she's doing that, I'm going to get started on our filling. So these are chicken enchilada cups. So we're working with some shredded chicken today. Um, so this is chicken breast that we just baked in the oven and shredded right afterwards, so super easy. Another really easy technique is to put it in the crock pot and you can shred it after it's done cooking. It falls yep. apart right um, when you do it that way. But you could really use whatever meat you prefer. You could even use ground meat. Mm -hmm. um, or if you wanna go meatless, black beans, just canned black beans work really well in this recipe too. You could even combine it with the chicken and have yes. both, the best of both worlds. That's what I would do. <laughs> I would probably do that too. So this recipe is actually super easy. There's only five ingredients. So to make our filling, we're just adding in one small 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. And this is just mild enchilada sauce. You could really use spicy, you could use green enchilada sauce if you wanted to, but it's nice because all the seasonings and flavors are just right in that can, and you just stir it up, and, and we're that's making it. a simple uh, recipe today, so if there are other ingredients you we'd like to add to your filling, you could certainly do that at this point. Um, so maybe you like a little chopped onion, or tomato, or yeah. something like that green chilies, you could definitely mix that right into the filling. All right, and we are all set to go. So we pulled our wonton cups out of the oven and they are ready to go. You can tell because they're nice and brown. Um, and just even by touching them, we can see now that yeah. they are They've crisped, crisped up. up and ready to put in our, our filling. All right, so I'm just going to spoon a little bit of this chicken mixture into each cup and then we'll top it off with cheese. So this is also, like we talked about before, a really fun step for the kids um, to get them involved and actually help, just help with the recipe. Yes. Um, everything is really, really simple. Ooh, absolutely. And sometimes with these wonton, wonton cups, because these are mini muffins, they do kind of cave in a little bit. Um, so the important thing is just to get a little bit of chicken in there. You might have to press down a little bit to get it more in the center yeah, of the filled. cup. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then from here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna top them with a little bit of cheese. And we're just using like a Mexican blend. Yes. And so at this point too, you could also add other toppings as you wish. Kind of as we talked about um, when we were making the mixture, if you wanted to mix in beans or onions. And then from here, we're just gonna pop this actually back in the oven but we're only gonna put it on the oven just until the cheese melts. So this is really just a very last step. It doesn't take much longer from here. Good. All right, so our cups are all filled now. So now I'm gonna pop this in the oven just until that cheese melts. And we actually have some that are done already, so I'm gonna grab those to taste as well. Awesome, I'll go ahead and get these out of the way. So our last ingredient that we have are these diced um, green onions. So you could definitely sprinkle these on top. The ones we've made earlier, we've already done that. Um, but you could also serve them with sour cream or guacamole or salsa, whatever you prefer for your enchilada toppings. Yum. Well, should we dig in? They smell really good. Give yes, them a I try. Try this one. Ooh, such a perfect little snack. I know, it's so cute. Mm. These taste They're just cheesy. like enchiladas. Mm -hmm. 
They're cheesy and spicy and crispy. I love it. Well, we hope you give this finger food a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.